Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Christine Kretscher from Create with Christine. I'm here with another Tuesday tip video tutorial. For my project today, I'm going to be making this cute 3D uh, craft pillow box. And I'm using the Wildly Happy stamp set. I wanted to do something different and use the Follow Your Art products. I'm using the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper and the embellishment kit to make a little pillow box for a baby. So this had the cutest, sweetest baby sentiment, so I chose that stamp set. Pretty much my inspiration was one of my coworkers just had a little, little baby girl a couple weeks ago, so I thought wouldn't this be adorable for a gift card or a little pair of baby socks would fit in there. So. I am actually going to bring over a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is my 2 inch circle punch. I'm just going to punch out a circle and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I am using Calypso Coral ink to match the designer series paper and the heart embellishment. So I'll just stamp that towards the top. And I'm going to go ahead and layer it up with a Calypso Coral Circle. If you have the two and a quarter inch punch, you can use that. You can also use the layering circle dies. So I just used a two and a half by a two and a half piece of Calypso Coral cardstock and cut that out. Okay, so the craft pillow boxes come already, um, well they come flat like this for you, so all you have to do is put it together. So I usually kind of take the edges, they're scored for you and kind of just open them up a little bit. It's a little bit stiff. And for this one, I'm going to go this to the back and this to the front, if that makes sense. I'm going to create a wrapper with some of the designer series paper. I just thought it's really cute with the Calypso Coral. So, actually, let me get the designer series paper. Okay, so I have a 2 inch by 8 inch piece of the designer series paper and the Calypso Coral and this is just cute. It is baby like. It's got hearts and stars and little moons on it. I scored it in the middle at 4 inches so I'm just going to kind of burnish that with my fingernail. And now I'm going to punch both ends with the scallop tag topper punch. So we'll just put one in there, punch, this is going to create a wrapper. Get the scrap out of the way. So then I can wrap this around my whole entire pillow box and it's a little bit of a snug fit but it will work. I am not putting any adhesive on this. So I'm just going to sort of kind of pinch it at the top and I have two pieces of Whisper White Baker's Twine. Let me try to get them even here. I like need another pair of hands. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm trying to hold this pinched in one hand. Okay, so I'm just going to thread through both ends, then I'm just going to tie a bow. And believe it or not, this is going to hold this paper onto, I'm going to tie a bow up at the top. This will hold it, hold it on without any adhesive. You could put a tiny bit of adhesive. I usually go right up at the tippity top, like right up here, if you put like a little tiny bit of liquid glue to hold the ends together, 
and you can kind of futz with your bow to make it how you want it and then cut your tails. But now I'm ready to put on my other pieces. So I have a pearlized doily. There is a silver side and a white side. For this project, I liked the white side. I'm just going to use glue dots. I only want the adhesive to go on this piece. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I actually want it to be reusable. So I want them to be able to, whoever I give this to, to reuse the box if possible. So I'll try to make sure the glue dots are in the middle. Then I'm going to glue dot this piece on as well. So let's just put a couple on here. Then I can go into my embellishment box. I am using the Follow Your Art Embellishment Kit. It comes in a box like this. Really fun and colorful. You get a whole bunch of doodads in here. I think I've showed it before in another video. You get thread um, in Calypso Coral and Pacific Point. Mine is very picked over because I'll show you in a minute a couple other projects I've done. Um, but you do get a ton of felt pieces. You get some little charms and paper clips. So I used the large heart in Calypso Coral. On this one I'm going to use the medium heart. There's also a little tiny one as well. But there's flowers, there's stars, there's arrows, there's little ribbon things. So for 11 bucks, this is a great value. I, one of the projects I'm going to show you is one of my classes I am offering right now and I will show you in a second. So there we go. That's how I decorated it. I just added the felt heart with a glue dot. So large heart, medium heart. And since this is kind of a girl version, I wanted to just show one that I made earlier with the Coastal Cabana paper from the same suite, the Follow Your Art. I stamped in Coastal Cabana and used the Coastal Cabana star for a boy. The other thing is, is I took the box apart very carefully at the seam and then I put it back together with tear and tape. And I will say that this is the back where I tore it apart so it is a little bit noticeable. If you wanted to make it less noticeable, you could emboss this layer back here. But since it's the back, I don't really mind it so much. But it gets, you don't have the polka dots. So this is the inside of the box. The polka dots would be on the inside when they opened it up. So it's kind of fun. So that's a boy version. And then my class that I'm doing this week um, is a sampler. I hope you can see this. I will do the first row really quick. So I used the felt pieces, the stamp set, and the dies and the paper to create this sampler. And I am offering this class to go or directions only for a PDF tutorial. So you can go to my blog, christinestamps.blogspot.com and find all the details on my classes and tutorials there. So this is my project for this week. I hope you like the idea of using the embellishment kit for a baby um, or making a sampler. So leave me a comment by Monday, August 19th, and you can have a chance to win the supplies to make this project. Um, one lucky winner will win the supplies for me to make your own craft pillow box. Thanks so much. I'll be back next week with another project to share.